This is Jenny Cruz reporting for Red Carpet NZ.TV. We're at the New Zealand premiere for the movie Born to Dance. For me it was about encouraging our kids to, and putting them up there on screen because we don't see them enough, not in these sorts of roles, not in these positive roles, you know. I mean we, we have a lot of films that have a lot of drama and a lot of heavy content and stuff but you know we need to start making more films, I believe anyway, about more positive stories, you know. They don't have to dive so deep, we can kind of live on the surface, walk away from the stereotype and just create something that's good and positive for our kids that has kind of, you know, feels like the films that they're used to seeing but just shows them up there on the screen. Right, thanks so much for talking to me. You're welcome, thank you. Cheers. Ta. Don't take no for an answer. <laughs> um, always push, because there's so many hard times and so many people saying that you can't do it. But honestly, you can. <laughs> They're really loud and obnoxious. <laughs> I just learned so much here um, about myself, about everything, uh, with dance and acting. Um, and I made a complete second family here. So I don't want to leave again. I had a hard time leaving the first time, and I'm going to have even a harder time leaving this time. How was it for you, being a dancer, to then turn your hand to acting for the first time in a feature film? Uh, it was definitely a challenge, but I was grateful to have um, Tammy there, our director, all of our cast, Dan, Carrington, um, just to help me out with the acting process. I mean, because I've never acted before, so I had no what I didn't know what to expect, and or even know how to act. But we had, I think we had a couple of weeks of, you know, rehearsals with acting, with an acting coach, but uh, I, was, I was still a long way from where I needed to be. But um, yeah, definitely grateful for the cast and crew that helped me out, um, get to where I wanted to be with the acting side of things. Yeah, I got to play a really cool role because initially I was only having a small role but they wrote my character into the film which was like you know like who gets that you know so I'm like pretty blessed and um, yeah I had to dance I'm not a dancer so I had to dance I was like it was hard Why do you think people should see the film? Um, well, like, first of all, it's from Aotearoa, so can't go wrong there. Yeah. Um, the dancers, they're not just actors. I mean, this is the first film that a lot of the dancers in the film have actually been a part of. Yeah. So it's it's a whole new experience for them, and I think they killed it. I think they did absolutely incredible, and, the and they, do, they do New sorry. Zealand proud, and I think it's a, Yeah, the thing about yeah. this film, it's not a Hollywood film, it's New Zealand, and that's the thing that stands out amongst all the other films that ever could be created. Mm. This one is New Zealand hip hop and it's amazing. Yeah. All right, thanks for talking. No, that's all good. Bye. I love every single minute of it. You know, every single day we just walked on to set, even into rehearsals as well, and we were just doing what we loved with the people we loved. So, yeah, there's nothing else I could say about that. There was no stress for us. It was all just, just really enjoying every single minute of it. The dancing's amazing, New Zealand's amazing. I think the talent from New Zealand um, needs to be projected out. So like, yeah, just come watch the movie. Yeah, you'll love the dancing. Great, thanks for talking Thank to you. us. Thank you. Thank you. People should see this movie because um, it shows a lot, of, a lot of heart in this movie. Um, it definitely inspires people to do what they love and um, yeah, it just helps build more um, confidence with themselves. Um, we have a lot of new, uh, a lot of talent in New Zealand, and 
this movie will help people to chase their dreams and I hope it does. I hope people go home and they, two things, I hope they're inspired to live out, live out their dreams and have the courage to do what they want to do wherever they are in their life. But I also hope uh, viewers go home and realise that hip hop dance in New Zealand is actually a thing. It's not some like, oh you're a dancer, like some of these kids in this film that have spent 10,000 hours on their craft. They're professionals at what they do. Two of our dancers are dancing for Chris Brown and Janet Jackson at the moment. That's huge. It's so I want I want people to leave and to not think that dance is just this throwaway thing, but it's something you can actually make yourself, you know, make something of yourself. Yeah. So I play Tino in the film. Um, he's a very um, expressive character. He has um, a loud personality. Um, he's very fierce, um, and he isn't afraid to really stand up for himself. He's a bit of a tech whiz, so he operates all the cameras and um, a lot of the, I don't know, yeah, does a lot of that stuff, all the techie work and stuff. Like, like this guy, the camera and stuff, yeah. People should see the movie because there's so much talent here in New Zealand and Aotearoa that people need to see and come out and support. It's amazing that you know they're able to display creative dance and just creative talent. And um, it's from here, it's a home bred, bred movie, it's a dance movie, why not? My song, Made For You, uh, is in the Born To Dance movie and I'm really excited. I've seen the scene that it's in, but I haven't seen the whole film, so I just can't wait. I'm actually secretly like a bundle of nerves and butterflies right now. <laughs> How did you choose the tracks that were used in the film? Oh well, it was a process. I had to um, meet with Paris, the choreographer, and find music that would work for her style of dance and also with Tammy, the director, and find out what he had in mind. And then I was left to my own devices just to pick what I thought would fit. So tell us about the film, you've already seen it. We have. Um, the dancing is amazing. It's, it's world class, Paris's choreography and the whole dance crew. Like every single dancer who performs, even Stan Walker who is not a dancer himself but learned to be an amazing dancer for the movie, the dancing will blow you away. that I was going to be uh, at the red carpet and uh, he said, oh my goodness, I have to dress you. I went, I can't afford you. <laughs> We're non-profit. And, um, and he said, oh no, no, it, we have to make something for you. And I, you know, like I, it brought me to tears because, yeah, he just represented a young man giving back and uh, that he would honour me like that. And once again, you know, young people standing up, doing something that's awesome, and taking the time to dress me and make me feel like a million dollars. 